Hi guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, March 14th, 2017. This is Jennifer. Happy March 14th, also known as Pi Day. This was also one of my grandmother's birthdays, so this is something I always like to think about today. I do have quite a few things to show you, despite having some secret things that I can't share with you guys yet. First off, I want to draw your attention to my design wall. This is our fifth paper piecing vintage block. It's called Our Little House. Because I'm doing a Halloween quilt, I made my little house haunted. So it's got little ghosties all over it. It's a little busy, but I really like the way it came out, and I like that when it's kind of far away you almost don't see the ghosts. This of course is the original and this one is done entirely out of vintage reproduction fabric. On the 27th of March we'll have our next installment of PPV and we will be halfway done at that point because we will be at block six. I spent a lot of my week last week quilting like a maniac. I've quilted three entire quilts and they were not small quilts. Um, I would say they were medium to larger. Two of those I cannot show you today. I can show you a little bit of the one quilt that I quilted for myself. This is the back of my X-Files quilt and if you follow me at all on social media you've already seen a little sneak peek. I was hoping to have this bound and ready to show you guys today but I was just out of mojo. I like I said I quilted three entire quilts. I got two of them bound, labeled, and put in the mail and this one is mine. I just want to show you a little sneak peek. This is my I want to believe poster. Um, I did a small meander all over and just changed the thread color where appropriate. And then I want to show you a little bit more. So we'll look at uh, 80 Skinner here. So I quilted a little more meander. I did not quilt over the hand embroidery. Everywhere where I had these blocks of solid fabric, I did um, just sort of bars and I did them going in opposite directions. So the entire quilt is quilted like that. I hopefully will be standing in the sunshine next week with this hanging on the fence bound and labeled so I can show you the whole thing. Last Last week Crystal commented on how nice it was to see me uh, doing something with t-shirts again. I used to do a lot of t-shirt reconstruction where I'd cut the t-shirt up and put it back together again. I made a lot of what I like to think of as she shirts where I took uh, guys t-shirts and I took the sleeves off and brought the sleeves in and then uh, made the, the, the body of the t-shirt kind of flare out at the bottom for my hips. Um, I do have a tutorial for that. I think I have a video tutorial and a text tutorial for that. Something I did for years. I just haven't done it in a long time. But last week, actually I think it was week before last I showed you a t-shirt that I had embroidered on and then I went to Savers with a friend last week and found like a two or three dollar t-shirt that I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video. Let me back up. It has a giant peace symbol right here so it's got a giant peace symbol on the side. So I did a peace sign up here. I found some clip art and then I cleaned it up a little bit. I digitized it and I stitched it on my shirt and I was playing with text and you really, really can't see it. It just disappears in the shirt. It actually says, give peace a chance under the peace symbol. But like I said, you it just kind of got buried in the fabric. So you can't really see it, but it, that's okay. I'm okay with that. I really like the way the peace symbol came out. And now I have this design if I want to stitch it on something else. Among the other craziness going on right now, uh, both of my kids home, are home for spring break. So I don't know how much craftiness I'll get done this week. They are college students and they're sleeping late. So I'm getting things done in the morning when they are still asleep. I do have Linus on Saturday. I have been printing like a mad woman for Linus. I do uh, almost all of our printing. I redesigned our old brochure that was 10 years old at least since the last update. I redesigned the front and I redesigned the whole brochure. I did this a few weeks ago and then I went, now it's been okayed by our board. Everybody's given it the thumbs up. So I have printed 500 copies of this bad boy. But this is what it looks like. I drew the front based on an old, old, really blurry piece of clip art that we used to use like from way back in 1999 when we started. So I drew the front, I designed the whole thing. The back has got our Linus heart. I also drew that on the recommendation of my friend Linda who said she really wanted to see the Linus heart in this space that was here before. It's super exciting. The inside has information about our nonprofit. It has like our website, our mailing address, it has some of the facilities we donate to, and I have folded one. Saturday, I'm gonna take the other 499 and uh, recruit some volunteers to help fold the rest. I will be turning in the quilt I showed you guys last week, the one that's the panel, because that this month is the panel demo, and so I'll be handing that off to OC, and that will be my quilt donation for this month. I also have, if I have time to get to it, I found a piece of Star Wars fleece. I found this, um, actually, like last month, maybe? I found this at 
the Goodwill Blue Hanger, which if you guys are not familiar with the Goodwill Blue Hanger, it's the Goodwill's outlet store and almost everything is by the pound. So this was fleece yardage. It still had the selvage on it when I bought it. And then I found some other fabric that was about three yards that also had the selvage on it. Everything's just sort of dumped in bin. So it's really a scavenger hunt. You never know if you're gonna find anything or not. And I had bought a few cl clothing items and a couple of other things. I had about 15 items total and I spent about $12 because like I said, they weigh everything. So you're not paying for the individual thing. So I found this cool Star Wars fabric and I trimmed it up and I rounded the corners. I like to put a finished edge on my fleece and I prefer it when we receive them for the Linus Connection, we actually prefer that the, the edges be finished. If I have time before Saturday, I will serge the edges and then I'll go ahead and wash this. I especially want to wash it since I found it at Goodwill because I don't know where it was before I had it. It smells fine, but you just never know and I want it to be clean. I have almost finished both of my door knockers for my labyrinth quilt. I will show you this one. He is all done. I still need to square him up. I haven't squared any of my blocks up yet. So he's all finished. I am almost done with the other one. He just needs a few more stitches. Like I, I just have a little bit of the top of his head left. I thought I'd have him finished for today, but like I said, my mojo ran out and I went to bed at 8.30 last night. I did have a free pattern Friday, last Friday. It was um, all about me being 16% Irish. I had my DNA done through Ancestry.com last year for my birthday. And when I got my results back, I found out that I was very, 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 very British. Uh, I have something in the six 60 percentile range from England, 16% Irish, and then a little bit of some other things. To celebrate my 16% Irishness and the fact that St. Patrick's Day is this week on Friday, I posted a free pattern of the Irish flag and a free pattern of a four leaf clover or shamrock. You can call it whichever one you want. I've actually gotten some guff from people for calling it a shamrock. So it's whatever you want it to be. If you don't want it to be a shamrock, then it is a four leaf clover. That's gonna be it for me today. I am gonna wrap this bad boy up so I can go spend some time with my kids. You guys don't forget to stop by Phantom and Stitches tomorrow for the next Goblin King, our Labyrinth Quilt and Stitch Along. And don't forget uh, Free Pattern Friday this Friday on SoHook.com. I did post a little thing last week that if you don't follow me on SoHook, did you might wanna check out. I did a short history of the Project of Doom and I got some really good feedback from it. Um, I just, after I finished my POD a couple weeks ago and I shared it, I got my label on last week and all of that. After I did all of that, I just decided that I would just do a little wrap up because goodness sake, I don't need to make another complete one myself. So I hopefully that now that I have one that's for show and one that's for using, hopefully I'm done making full complete projects of dooms myself. I do have some blocks to make for the Linus connection uh, to do some small mini PODs, but that's a totally different story. Enjoy that. Enjoy your week and happy St. Patrick's Day a little bit early. Don't forget to wear green on Friday. Oh, and Friday I'm going to see Beauty and the Beast with my sister, my daughter, and one of our good friends. And so I'm super excited about that. So that's it. I promise I will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.